Drizz on Watcher's Grave on Nessus. He's currently selling the Vanguard Vanilla Destiny 2 armor set, which is really interesting. I would recommend this for pretty much all the classes, uh, but specifically the Titan probably has some of the best pieces. So as for the Warlocks, I think the chest piece is pretty cool. I think the helmet's pretty cool. I think a lot of these pieces are pretty cool. It's just the fact that if you see orange, just be just assume that it's not going to change color. Unfortunately, as you guys can see right now, a lot of the orange in this does not change color. The boots has an orange piece on, I think it's the socks. The socks don't change color. Uh, if I remember correctly, the chest piece on the like the orange line on uh, the chest uh, doesn't change color. And I think that's it for the Warlocks. Uh, obviously, I have the shaders up right now or shader, I should say. So just just to make make you aware of it, because it is annoying because, you know, orange is a really terrible shader to try to shader around. So just be aware of that. As for the armor, we're looking at too high mobility too high mobility too high mobility and this one's very mediocre so obviously these are just kind of like whatever's but if you were to ask me i would probably tell you to pick up at least the helmet and the chest piece i think the chest piece is really cool even with the orange line not being able to change color uh let me actually double check because i can't actually see uh the shader situation uh as you guys can because i'm not editing this right now let me see Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Yeah. This is the part that doesn't change color. So I actually still would recommend this because it, that this is such a small portion of it that for me, it wouldn't really bug me too much, but I do understand if it bugs some people and I'm pretty sure the arms don't have anything that, that are unshaderable and the boots definitely have the socks that don't change color because I did check and the helmet as well. I would probably just tell you the, the bond is the only piece that I'm like, you can skip this one. As for the Titans, I think the arms are amazing. I definitely love these arms. Just be aware that the like cloth on the right side does not change color, specifically the orange. I think the blue does change color, but the orange definitely doesn't change color. The Mark has like these orange pieces on the sides that doesn't change color either. I'm pretty sure the white doesn't change color either, but I'm not too sure. Uh, again, if you just see orange, just assume it doesn't change color unless specified otherwise obviously i have the shaders up right now but i think arms are super cool i think the boots are super cool i think the helmet is pretty cool as well and i think the chest piece and the are the mark are the only pieces that are kind of like whatever to me personally i do know that the boots also have a like the vanguard insignia that doesn't change color but other than that i think it's still pretty cool uh, as for the armor pieces uh mediocre i probably wouldn't care about this one 22 armor that's okay um damn um okay yeah i probably would bump up the discipline so i can have a 22 on both resilience and discipline and then i'll have a 16 in strength which is nice i know the recovery is going to be low but at that point you would uh get another piece that has higher recovery so that way it can equal out but this is this is pretty good um this is terrible and this is also terrible so titans let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys which pieces you guys are going to be picking up as for the hunters i think the chest piece is really cool for like a tactical look same thing for the arms i think the cloak is pretty cool and i think the helmet and the boots are kind of like whatever's because the boots i use another one for that specifically the one from the edz so for me that one's the better choice because the cloth on the on the boot does not change color it's always going to be white and there's a lot of pieces for this one that doesn't change color unfortunately as you guys can see right now the cloak is probably the biggest offender in this whole thing because a lot of it's just why like the orange on the back is just way too much personally and i if i remember correctly there's orange in the front as well uh personally i'm not the biggest fan of this armor set because of the shade unshaderable pieces if it did change uh, color then i probably would be singing a different tune because again i think the cloak is very unique and it's just unfortunate that I don't think there's any other cloak that looks like it. It's just the fact that that orange is that color. Uh, as for the armor set, let's look at uh, this planet 24. You get a ones on pretty much the most important pieces for, for hunters. <sighs> I don't think this is terrible because if... Uh, yeah, this isn't terrible. I mean, you can put powerful friends on add a plus 20 on this and then add a recovery mod on this so you get a 20 
So in total, you'll have a, a 34. This is obviously master work, but 34, 11, uh, 20, no, 20, no, 32, no, 30, yeah, 32, no, 33, I think, and a 26. So that's pretty cool, I guess. I probably will pick this up, maybe. Uh, this one, damn, 19 resilience, which is nice. Recovery is pretty low and mobility is really low. But at that point, you could probably just bump up the recovery to a 19. So 19, 19, which is really nice. And then for mobility, just grab another piece that's really high on mobility, maybe. Uh, helmet, nah, not it, chief. And then the, the legs are also not it. Eh, it's fine, whatever. Uh, let's actually look at the exotics hunters. Yeah, obviously let me know what you guys think in the comments below again I think I think personally the cloak is really cool It's just the fact that this orange doesn't change color. It's very unfortunate because it looks super cool Like it does look really cool. It's just again like The fact that whoever at Bungie was designing this and was like, let's let's not have the orange at the back change color It's like, yeah, that's a good idea, dude. Very good idea. Um, I actually don't even know if the chest piece, the uh, specifically the orange piece changes color. Cause if it does, then this is a good piece. Yeah, so I actually would recommend the chest piece for a tactical look because the other one that we have would be this one, which I think this is the better choice. You have a knife here and then grenades, which I think is way better. But again, this one does look really cool still. So yeah, hunters, let me know. As for the weapons we have served Survivor's Epitaph with Quick Draw and Osmosis. I do know this one has a second perk because I did look at it and it has subsistence and osmosis. So that'd be pretty cool. A PVE roll. I just don't really know why I would use a hand cannon in PVE when there's other better options out there. Uh, GM7 rifle with firmly planted in Dragonfly, which does have range or it has a range uh, thing, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't, I mean, to, to be honest, I don't really care about this. So not me heating up and thresh, not even worth it. Uh, so Druner's tail tunnel vision opening shot does have a range, uh, master work on it as well, which for those who care, that's pretty cool. Uh, grid skipper. This is not my role that I would go for, but if you don't have a grid skipper, get it because grid skipper is just really good in general. Uh, punching out with surplus and wellspring. I know some people would lose their shit over this one because there's some people out there that swear that hand can or that sidearms are amazing, which right now they are. But for PVE, I probably wouldn't pick this up. Shattered Cypher, Heating Up and Surrounded, definitely not picking that up. And Stars in Shadow, Field Prep and Thresh, definitely. Yeah. So, eh. I mean, Sojourner's Tale is probably the only one I would recommend for PvP. For the exotics, we have Hawkmoon with Snapshot Sights. And uh, I, I think I already have a Snapshot Sights role. If I don't, I would actually probably pick this up. Dead Man's Tail with Moving Target, um, yeah. And then we have Telesto, obviously, who, uh, with all of the things that Telesto is doing this season. It's pretty funny that they're selling it now. Knucklehead Radar with pretty, I mean, the resilience is really high, but just Knucklehead just sucks as, like as an exotic. Kepri's Horn, way too high mobility. And Starfire Protocol with resilience at 26. What the actual fuck? Um, yeah, I would recommend this one just because the resilience is so high. You'll have a 38 once you masterwork this, which is damn near 40. So that's almost enough for two armor pieces to be at 20. So I, I would probably pick this one up. Let's actually see what I end up getting for this shit. Hopefully I get a good exotic. Um, Raid and Flex. Okay. Like, okay. So I have that. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I should have a video out after this video. If not, I will have it out tomorrow. Uh, I'll show you guys a quick uh, thing right here just to show you guys what it is, but it is an armor or it is an exotic armor video specifically for the Titan. So let me know what you guys think or which pieces are you going to be picking up. Let me know in the comments below. Be safe and I'll see y'all later.